What's up, Gears Nation? It's your boy, the Gears Prodigy, coming back at you with another Gears 5 glitch. But like always, before we actually get into the as for mentioning glitch, if you're not already a part of the Gears Nation, be sure to subscribe and hit the fuck out of that notification bell. And now that all that self plug bullshit is out of the way, let's get into the as for mention Gears 5 glitch. So there's this fucking nonsense in Gears 5 whenever you go to play the horde mode, and it, it's pretty fucking annoying. It, it, it's very minor, it doesn't change the game any at all. It, it's just annoying to see. It, it agitates me each time I see it. And how it's done is you just kill an enemy and it, when the energy lands, if it lands just the right fucking way on an elevated platform or stairs in this instance, it, it'll do this shit. But much like quite a few of these minor glitches, these were minor glitches in Gears of War 4 also. So it, it's pretty bullshit that they were in the last fucking installment and they didn't tweak it at all. In, the, in this installment. It's just laziness at its fucking finest, really. Not to mention, you can't fucking tell me that this wouldn't be a fucking easy fix. You can't tell me that this would take more than fucking minutes to five minutes at a time to fix something like this. This is the result of piss poor and lazy developing. And it's also a result of piss poor fixing. They can't even perform proper maintenance on this game to fix the smallest, most simplest fucking shit ever. Anyways, Gear Station, there's not much more I can say about this fucking nonsense. Truly, I can't. So if you enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like, and be sure to let me know in the comments below if you've encountered this glitch, a similar glitch to this one, or any glitch at all for that matter, because right now, the best thing that we can do for this game is document each and every fucking problem there is and then upload it onto whatever fucking platform we want to upload it onto and just get it out there. Because a lot of this shit does really need to be fixed. There's no rhyme or reason why some of this shit is in this fucking game. At this point in the fucking industry, this type of shit shouldn't even be a fucking problem. But oh wait, that's right. See, this glitch and all the other glitches, they're not the Nasher. They're not ranked multiplayer, so therefore TC doesn't give a shit about it. But what the fuck do I know? I'm only the consumer, you know, the guy that fucking bought this bullshit. One of the people that's funding post-launch content by buying merchandise for the game. So I don't know anything at all. You shouldn't listen to consumers. And of course I'm being sarcastic when I say that. You should always listen to the fucking consumer, no matter how their feedback is presented. Rather, if they're quite pissed off and angry, and they decide to deliver their feedback and criticism like I do, or if they're like Embry and they're more modest and respectful, end quote, with their feedback and criticism. Not a dig at Embry, but he was the quickest, most efficient example that I thought of while doing this unscripted voiceover. Because in case you didn't know, I don't script out my videos. I literally just say whatever the fuck comes to my mind. And that's pretty fucking badass to be completely honest. You know who else doesn't do that? You know who else doesn't go off of scripted material? Um, to name a few, Stone Cold Steve Austin, former World Heavyweight and WWE Champion, and The Undertaker, you know, former WWE WWF Champion, and John Cena, you know, a 16-time WWE Champion. Yeah, they don't go off of scripts because they're cool. If you found this video informative and or enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like. If you're not already a part of the Gears Nation, be sure to subscribe and hit the fuck out of that notification bell. If you would like to see my channel grow, be sure to share this video on all social media platforms. For more news, be sure to follow me on Twitter, and for more entertainment, be sure to follow me on Instagram. And while you're at it, consider joining my Discord server. All links will be in the description below.